Hello, fashion lovers. Welcome again to today's episode. Today, we are going to continue with our cutting series. We are going to cut a dress. In our previous episode, we cut a straight dress where there was no joining that had the full length from the shoulder to the knee without any pieces. That was the previous one that we learned that the full length was going to be one. Today we are going to learn how to cut a dress with two divisions, the B part and the C part. Where the C part perhaps is a fullness, goddess, pleat or a flare. So when you are going to cut a dress where there's no, it's not a full dress but there's a division, you divide the dress into two like this. We have the top part, that's the shoulder to waist, or if it's shoulder to empire, but wherever the division is, you put it. The top part and the down part. So we are going to treat each part differently and cut each part differently. So we are going to take the B part, know how to cut the B part, focus on the C part, know how to cut the C part, before joining the two to be a full length dress. So. When we are going to take a measurement with the B, how to cut the B part. The B part looks like this. Where it ends only on the waist, shoulder to waist. And our principle, how we cut, we consider how wide we are cutting and how long we are cutting. So how wide we are cutting, we are going to consider the biggest 360 in the B part. You realize the bust is here, the empire will be here, and our waist. So if the bust is, let's say, 40, and the empire is 32, and the waist is 30, obviously our biggest 360 is the bust. This time, the hip is not part of the B part. So we don't even bring it here. We consider the bust, the empire, and the waist, which one is the biggest. So in this measurement, the bust is the biggest. So how wide we are cutting will be the bust divided by four plus our three inches. So the bust, which is 40 divided by four, will give us 10 plus three, making 13 inches how wide we are cutting. That is the width or the width. So 13 inches for the waist. Then the length, by what length are we cutting? We are cutting from the shoulder to the waist. And if the shoulder to the waist is 17, let's say it's 17. Since it's cutting, we are not going to cut exact 17. We are going to add allowance to enable us to join the shoulder and have another allowance to join the second part of the dress. So how long we are cutting the length it's going to be our shoulder to waist, which is 17 plus our 3 inches. 17 plus 3 inches, which is going to be 20 inches. So the B part, which is the top part, the in cutting, how wide is going to be our 13 inches. In conclusion, how wide 13 by the length 20. So that is the B part. I hope you understand. So you only take your fabric and you measure how wide you fold it on it like this. And it's 13 inches. 13. So you take your tape measure and check. This is 15. So I'm going to draw it back to 13. So this is 13 inches. I'm going to check the other side to 13, 13. So how wide I'm cutting is 13. Then how long I'm going to cut is 20. I'm going to level this side so that it will be the same length. So that it will not disturb me with the line. So I'm going to take my 20 inches in length. Just put my 20. Then use my chalk to mark.
Then join it with my ruler. So this is the front part of the B part, which is 13 by width, 20 by length. So you just cut. So this is the front of my B part that I'm cutting, the front part. So if I want to cut the back, I'll just fold it. Fold my gray back, put it on it, and just leave my zip allowance inches. So if you are leaving your zip allowance, it should be about either one inch or 1.5 inches. This is more than 1.5 inches, so I'm going to pull it to the back. So I'm going to check if I've gotten my 1.5 good. Good, I'm happy with what I've got. And I'm going to just cut the same length. So this is the B part, which is having the front and the back with one inch, 1.5 inches allowance zip. So we are going to concentrate on the C part. The C part looks like this. So you will choose which type of fullness the C part has, whether it's goddess whether it's pleat or it's a uh, flare. You can also have the down part to be a fitting. That one you decide. But when you're cutting the C part, which has fullness, let's say goddess. When it's goddess, the C, because we are going to fix it on the waist, you take the waist measurement, which was 30 inches. And if it's goddess, we are going to multiply it by 3 inches or 2, depending on how much we want the fullness. So it's 30, I will choose 3 inches, times 3, which I'm going to get 90 inches. Well, if I cut 100, still wanting more fullness, it won't spoil anything. So the C part, how wide we are cutting, is the waist times 3, which we are getting 90 plus allowance 10, which will get 100. So the length of the C comes in when you have the full length dress length, the full length of the dress. If the dress length is 40 and your shoulder to waist for the B is 17. To get the length for C, we have to subtract the 17 from the 40 to get the length for C. So C will be equal to the length of the 40 minus 17 to get the length for C. So we are going to get 23 for the length for C. But since it's the length we want after the final garment, which is 23, we have to add allowance to the 23 so that we can join it to B and also have some to hem. Don't forget when you want 23, add allowance. If you cut 23, by the time you finish joining your dress, you have a lesser length. So we are going to add three inches to the 23 and get 26. So in conclusion, when we are cutting goddess for the second part, we are going to get the width, which is the 100, by 26, which is the length. That also follows how wide and how long we are cutting. So that is the C part. So when you finish and you get your C part, the 100 by 26, the 100 is for the full front and back, which is the 100, then the length of 26 inches. So when you want to cut your goddess, which has a weight of 100 and a length of 26, 
You can take your grey bath. You can take your grey bath. If you want it to be easier for you, since the full 360 for the C is 100, and you want to cut the front, you can just divide into two. So you get the front part to be 50 by 26 for the front. So if I want the front, I'm going to cut 50 by 26. And the front also having left and right side, I'm also going to divide again and get 25 on fold by 26. So that it will be easier for me to cut. So I'm just going to fold my garment on top and make sure I get 25 in weight. So I'm going to get 25 in weight. Let me check if I get my 26. So 25. Yeah, it's not even. So I'll just use a straight end by my 26. So you mark where your 26 is. Then use a line, a ruler to draw. Then you cut your so you get the front part for the goddess. Then you get your front part for the goddess. Fold it to two and place it on the, on the back, leaving a zip allowance. Then you cut your back, which is also will be your 25 by 26. So if the C part is, C, um, is split, the same way you multiply the waist by three, you get 90, get your 100, cut your 26, uh, 25 by 26 for the front on fold. Then you, cut, you leave a zip allowance for the back and also cut. If it's flare, well, the gathers and the pleats almost, the cutting is almost the same. So if the C part is flare, after knowing your waist, divide it by four to get your arc. Refer to the previous episode, know how to cut the flare, then cut on your fabric. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for joining us on today's episode. I hope you learned something. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section below or contact the number on the screen. If you are interested in joining the NASPA fashion training, call the number on the screen for more information. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you on the next episode. Thank you.